you know, um, I'll just say uh, I, this isn't really a failure, but it's related to the failure of um, getting into the law firm and sort of climbing the ladder uh, really high on a, a building on the wrong building is what I tell people. Right. So like I was doing really well there and but I just had no direction. And so one of the things that I did um, right when I quit is I, uh, I I did not want to go back to that law firm like I, in, in my mind, a lot of different people, they'll either, they'll either start a side hustle, hustle and then quit, or they'll quit and then go full steam into whatever it is. I could never do that, do the side hustle piece while having another job. It just didn't work. One, in the, in the legal space, it's just, there's too much time that you have to invest, right? Yeah. L- literally, you have to write your time down every six minutes, um, it, which is not a good way to live. And so, um, so I went the the burn the ships route. And so one of the things I did to make sure that I didn't go back there was I, uh, and I said this on another podcast, I, uh, I printed up a picture of this guy that I work next to, right? His picture, his face, and I put it in my closet. And so every single day when I would go in to get dressed, I would see this guy's face and I'm like, I'm never going back there, right? Like I'm going to work as hard as possible to make sure this business succeeds. And I'm never going back to see this guy again. Um, and fortunately, you know, in the first year of starting a business, I was able to replace my income from the law firm and I haven't looked back. I also let, uh, another, another thing I, I did was I let my license expire, let my, um, my, uh, you know, uh, legal license expire so that I couldn't go back. So you'd have to take the bar again if you wanted to go yeah. back. Yeah. That's, that sounds miserable. <laughs> yep. Yep. Not going to happen. 